Preserved lemons are the best flavor booster that most home cooks aren't using. They can transform simple dishes into something sublime and they're surprisingly easy to make. I'll provide the full explanation in just a minute, but basically they're just lemons that have been fermented or preserved in salt. Preserved lemons bring two things I really love, plant-based umami and a bold supreme lemon flavor without the mouth puckering tartness of traditional lemons. They add this complex background note that's hard to place, but we'll keep you coming back for more. And there's so many ways you can use these preserved lemons to jazz up your cooking. So first and foremost, preserved lemons are most commonly associated with North African cooking. So your Moroccan cuisine, your Tunisian cuisine, and they're often used to add salt, brightness, and a depth of flavor to tagines, soups, and stews. They're also great in grain dishes. So if you've got some rice or couscous, or they're really nice in lentil and chickpea dishes, such as a chickpea salad. And for an easy chickpea couscous salad, mix together a few tablespoons of chopped preserved lemon rind, squeeze in a few tablespoons spoons each of lemon juice and extra virgin olive oil and season with salt and pepper or Aleppo pepper, which is what I'm doing. Pour this all over some cooked pearl couscous, top with some chickpeas and colorful bell peppers, add a few handfuls of fresh herbs like parsley and basil or mint, and you have yourself a very easy, delicious lunch. I also love using them in salad dressings and vinaigrettes like this preserved lemon vinaigrette, which is so full of flavor. We've got fresh lemon juice, minced preserved lemons, minced shallots and garlic, and a touch of maple syrup to balance the acidity. Stream in some extra virgin olive oil until it's emulsified and then add some chopped fresh mint and salt and pepper of course. I'm serving this vinaigrette with a beautiful carrot ribbon salad. You can find that recipe in the blog post but you can use this vinaigrette on virtually any salad. And they're also particularly tasty in yogurt based sauces as well as tahini based sauces, two of my absolute favorites. And for this preserved lemon yogurt sauce you'll need a half cup of a good quality coconut yogurt, a tablespoon of the chopped preserved lemon rind, a little bit of minced garlic, chopped cilantro, and and Aleppo pepper, which I love, and salt. This is great with falafel and pita bread as a dip with pita chips or served alongside some crispy roasted potatoes. I also really like a touch of preserved lemon in tomato-based recipes for a unique pop of brightness in the background. So if I'm making a marinara sauce, I might add a little bit in there or even a vegan shakshuka. Preserved lemons can even give a fresh face to something really basic like store-bought vegan mayo or the most basic of all, avocado toast. For all my basic bees out there, listen up. You're gonna want to rough mash up one ripe avocado, squeeze in some fresh lemon juice, add in about a teaspoon, maybe a bit more of preserved lemon peel and season with salt and red pepper flakes. Give it another mash and spread it on some good quality crusty bread and enjoy your not so basic avocado toast. So basic but so good. And for every half cup of vegan mayo, you wanna add about one or one and a half tablespoons of chopped preserved lemon rind. Here I spread this onto some burger buns, topped it with a saucy jackfruit mixture and salad greens for an easy vegan burger. You can also use preserved lemons to liven up a simple bowl of roasted vegetables. For instance, here I just mixed together chopped preserved lemon with extra virgin olive oil, poured it over the broccoli with a pinch of salt. Super simple, but a really tasty way to eat more broccoli. Or you can add preserved lemons to your adult beverages. And for a non-alcoholic beverage that's really refreshing, add a strip of preserved lemon peel to a glass with some organic cane sugar. I used about a half tablespoon here and use a muddler to smash this into a paste. Then toss in some crushed ice and fill it up with sparkling water and that is it. Now that you know why preserved lemons are amazing and how to use them, let me show you how to make them. Spoiler alert, it's really easy. We'll get started by grabbing our lemons. I've got about eight today and our jar. I've got a 34 ounce jar. I prefer using Meyer lemons because they're a little sweeter, have this really nice aroma, but you can use regular lemons. If you can't find them, whatever you use, try to find the smallest lemons you can because the larger thick skinned varieties don't really soften as well. And since you'll be eating the peel, make sure to wash and scrub your lemons really well. We're gonna add a tablespoon or two Two of kosher salt to cover the bottom of the jar. We're essentially curing lemons in salt, so we need a really salty environment that's going to prevent mold from growing in the lemons as well as create a good environment for beneficial bacteria to grow because that is how the lemons are fermented. You want to take a lemon and cut off a thin slice from the tip on both sides to give it a flat 
bottom. Now cut lengthwise almost all the way through. Now flip the lemon by 90 degrees and repeat this as if you were quartering the lemon into wedges. Now gently pry these lemons open, but not so hard that you detach them and fill each lemon up with a generous amount of kosher salt. I don't bother measuring the salt because every lemon size is different. Just fill them up and then close the lemons. Yes, this is a lot of salt, but don't worry. This is how you're supposed to preserve lemons. Now here's where it gets fun. Start adding your salted lemons to your glass jar and start pushing them down with a large spoon or a pair of tongs so that they release their juices and become more compact, which makes room for more lemons. Whenever I'm making preserved lemons, I always get a couple extra lemons because if the juice from these lemons is not enough to cover them, I will just juice some extra lemons on top. That's really important to keep the lemons covered in juice and salt so that they're not exposed to air. If they're exposed to a lot of air, that's how the mold can grow and obviously you don't want mold in your lemons. Once the lemons are covered with their juices, it's time to add more salt, about two tablespoons on top. Now seal the jar and let this rest at cool room temperature, somewhere like your pantry, for at least three weeks. Yes, that is a long time, but it's totally worth it and it took like five minutes to make and I recommend gently shaking the jar once a day every day for the first 10 days or two weeks. When the lemons are ready, the peels will be very soft. It's most common to scoop out the flesh, which is very mushy and very salty at this point and use just the peel. Depending on the recipe you're using, you might want to finely chop or even mince the peel or you might want to cut it into thin strips. As I mentioned, preserved lemons are fantastic in salad dressing, so if you're looking for some inspo for your next salad, be sure to check out some easy recipes right here.